in the mantra of the United Methodist Church, which is open hearts, open minds, open doors. Welcome now to another broadcast from Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. We've been proclaiming the faith through the power of television since 1966. This has become one of the longest running television ministries of any United Methodist Church. Thank you for tuning in as we continue this 40-year television tradition of celebrating the good news. celebrating the coming of Christmas with the festival of lessons and carols. And these children, along with other choirs today, will be singing wonderful carols and hymns and playing music for us that celebrates the coming of Christ. What a joyous service it is. And we tell the complete story of the coming of the Messiah through scripture as well as through song. So I hope that this service today is a blessing to you so that you may be a blessing to others this Christmas. bidding prayer. Beloved in Christ, as we await the great festival of Christmas, let us prepare ourselves so that we may be shown its true meaning. Let us hear in the lessons from Holy Scripture how the prophets of Israel foretold that God would visit and redeem the waiting people. 
Let us rejoice in our carols and hymns that the good purpose of God is being mightily fulfilled. Let us celebrate the promise that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will bring all peoples and all things into the glory of God's eternal kingdom. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. But first, let us pray for the world that God so loves, for those who have not heard the good news of God or who do not believe in it, for those who walk in darkness and in the shadow of death, and for the church in this place and everywhere, that it may be freed from all evil and all fear, and may in pure joy lift up the light of the love of God. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer to God in the words that Christ himself taught us, our Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Responsive reading for the lighting of the Advent candles printed in your order of worship. We light one candle to remind us of God's light given through Christ. We light a second candle remembering the light that shines through the prophet's word of justice. We light a third candle to remind us of John who calls us to wade in the waters of new life. 